Hello, welcome back to my uh, the second part of my uh, focus on Barry Windsor Smith. Um, as we already established, that Barry Smith is a pretty decent inker of his own penciling. I want to bring out some example of how um, some some other inkers that that worked with him really uh, was not a good uh, mesh with his style. Uh, right here is a, an adventure book. I brought this book out because it contained the three issue uh, that Barry did in the early 70s Avengers. Avengers 98, 99, and 100. And you will see. Let me get to the start of it. So right here, you see Barry Smith with the help with Sao Pusima. Okay, and certainly. Now, this is, I think, in the 1972, about two years after he started working on Conan. Certainly, uh, you can see that he started to draw uh, more muscular characters. But if you look at the drawing and the inking, it certainly does not stand out. Okay. Um, believe it or not, Sao Busima was actually fairly decent. Sao was a pretty decent artist himself, so um, it helped to have somebody like Sao do the inking. Certainly, it was adequate. Okay, and as you can see, yeah. there's a lot of telltale sign that this is Barry Smith work. Look at the nose, okay? As I mentioned before, his nose is very pointy and very uh, recognizable, as well as the way he draws the mouth and the eyes. You know, that's, it's hard for, uh, I would say it's easy for artists to be recognizable with the face. Look at that. See, that's, to me, is not a very good picture. You know, where he draw the face, the mouth, the lips. But this is okay. Okay, so you, as you can see, you know, something about Barry Smith back in those days, you know, he's still very uh, raw. And, uh, you know, his work here with the Avengers, as you can see, is not, to me, it does not scream out talent. Not yet. He's still pretty much a work in progress. And you know, all his face are very narrow. You know, Barry tend to draw very narrow face, very pointy nose, narrow face, and very lean figure. Sure, he start to incorporate more muscle in his uh, characters, but for sure. This right here is extremely Barry Smith at the early stage. The way the mouth is, you know, seems like everyone is shouting, screaming in the in in every panel. Even Iron Man was very narrow. Let's just look at this. To me, that is, it's not a very good picture of Iron Man. Um, even look at that, you know. So, like I said, if I was buying uh, Avengers 98, 99, and 100 off the rack, I would not be impressed with Barry Smith whatsoever. Especially when you're dealing with the era where John Buscema was the icon. Uh, with the Avengers, you know, I mean, he was a standard of the Avengers, so this is 
definitely not that good. So look at that. Like I said, everyone is shouting. Okay, so here we move on to uh, I think uh, issue 99 with Hercules and this one here is inked by Tom Sutton and it is really not that good I mean Tom Sutton and Barry Smith together is not a good combination by any stretch of imagination let's look at that You know, I will include a link to an interview, an old interview that Barry Smith, that is pretty neat. And he talked a little bit about, you know, how laborious it was to draw this Avengers book. But it was a very entertaining interview. And every time I have read that um, articles, interviews, a couple of times, and each time I can picture uh, the voice of Klaus Schnell narrating, it would be funny. It would be funny to have the voice of Klaus Schnell is Barry Windsor Smith. Um, but as you can see, this is not good at all. Um, you know, in fact, uh, it is far below what he was producing for Conan at the same time. You're talking about 1972 here. You know, when he was making great stride with Conan, uh, the combination of him working with other inkers would just not yield, it, it did not yield a very good result. Look at that, that is, you know, I'm not a big fan of these books. Uh, that's why I don't have the original book and just a reprint. Look at that, look at Hercules, even Hercules is too skinny. So it's not all about, you know, uh, bad inking. It has more to do with his style at the time. You know, he still has not fully uh, developed his muscle drawing skills. Just look at this picture right here. You cannot tell me that this is good. a good picture of Scarlet Witch. Look at the face. It's out of proportion. It, it, the angle is wrong. You name it. It would just... Look at that. Quicksilver. Once again, the face is just way too narrow and not proportion. And then you move on to Avenger 100. And this one here, you have Smith, I'm assuming that he did some of the inking, Joe Sinnott and Sid Shaw. Sinnott and Sid Shaw are very capable inkers that have done wonders for people like Kirby, Gene Colan, so we know those guys can ink, but teaming up with Barry Smith, wow. Look at this. Just look at that Hulk, a disaster. Okay. Look at the Hulk. Like I said, the inking of this book is just atrocious. Okay, I'm not sure who's to blame, but look at that. If it, I, I don't know uh, where to go to, you know, to complain about this book, but uh, I think I've shown enough. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's Avenger 98, 99, 100 clearly illustrate that nobody else should be inking Barry Smith. So Barry left comic book world, you know, by, by the mid 70s, you know, he was gone. He was done and gone and doing other things. And somewhere between the mid 70s and early 80s, he found his brilliance. And about the same time that I uh, found that book, The Studio, in 1981, this magazine came out and I had to buy it. This was my very first epic magazine. Um, I have read this a million times, but you know what caught me was of course this amazing, amazing drawing. Look at this. 
like I said, look at that nose. Okay, that is all Barry Winter Smith right there. Unmistakable. But the peacock, the details on the peacock, it just astounding. Beautiful. Like I said, Barry put so much detail even in the little branch, little leaf. But this came out shortly after I bought the studio, so I was extremely happy to find this magazine and and I did buy Epic magazine going forward from this point all the way to the end. It's a fun magazine. It has a lot of really cool arts in it. Uh, you know, like this book, this issue here has a, a story done by Neil Adams, as you can see right here. Beautifully drawn, Neil Adams. Look at that. But what drawn me to this book, of course, is Barry Smith. So it's a, it has a great um, interview of Barry Smith, as well as many of the image that you saw in the book, the studio. But it also include many other print and they are just gorgeous look at that absolutely beautiful it's a classical beauty about the way he draw people absolutely stunning nobody else can draw uh, fabric the way Mary and draw fabric it's just gorgeous details and, and hairs fabrics and hairs oh stunning just look at this absolutely beautiful I can stay at these uh, painting forever and here is another shot of uh, the cover simply gorgeous but it's a great interview. It kind of gives you a highlight. This is 1981, so he talked more about what he's doing since he left the comic world. And um, look at that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is his own inking. Gorgeous. You know, when Barry does his own inking, like I said, there's a certain way that he inks the style of the lines that he is it's very intricate very detailed very time consuming certainly not something that can be done in the speed that's needed to produce a monthly books but anyhow so this that was this magazine in 1981 and then by the early 80s and mid 80s he started to come back to comic books and he did a couple issue of x-men which was beautifully drawn but he also did um, this mini series on machine man you know a, a fairly boring character but my god the full issue that he did for machine man was beautifully drawn um you know, I, I, I was so happy when I see that he started to do regular work again for Marvel. And for this, uh, some of this issue have Herb Trent doing the breakdown. Um, and then Barry, of course, did the finishing, the inking, as well as the coloring. Now, breakdown is very crude, okay? Uh, basically, you know, he would do, uh, a breakdown can be a simple layout of you know sketches a little bit of the building the street and where the characters can be it could be just stick figures really uh, barely any kind of details to it but what the breakdown have done for for uh, Barry is it shorten the time that's needed to finish the book you know I mean it would take him way too long based on the way he draws and inks to do it without the help of someone laying out all the panels already and then he can just 
do the drawing and inking without having to think about composition of the, the panels. But it is beautiful. This book is remarkable in the few years that he stay off comic book and when he came back you see basically this style of drawing transform into comic books and let's just look at that i mean the story of this series is nothing great okay it's okay but i think for the artist fan out there you can't help it but love the artwork that was in here just look at that face the amount of detail the changes that that he has accomplished is beautiful look at that nose it's not to say that he does not go back to his trademark style of drawing noses okay but simply gorgeous and i would love to see uh, the original breakdown that Herb Trim did just to see what was done and what was finished. Look at that, see right there. That's a classic Barry Windsor Smith face today. Okay, it's the way the eyes are, the nose. Look at that, it's extra long. Okay, but that's the way he draws the noses. Very, this very distinguishable like I said the art of this is just so beautiful the details that was done like I said you know he spare nothing I mean uh, the amount of work that he put in this book is just amazing um, just look at that night and day you know if you were comparing what he was doing with early Conan to late Conan to this book wow a transformation it's just amazing look at that that is just beautiful you know certainly you, you, you can't help but admire how much he has changed from this book compared to what I was showing earlier, the Avengers, you know, I mean, it's night and day. What's cool about uh, this book is, of course, the involvement of this Arnold Stark. Look at that, beautiful. And then I bring out issue number four real quickly. Beautiful. And this one here is all Barry Smith, okay? There's no more Herb Trimp, Herb Trimpy involvement. Barry did everything. And it is just gorgeous. I mean, like I said, look at the nose again, okay? It's like I said, Barry Smith today, all you, if all you need to do is show me the drawing just like this and I can say tell that it is his work because his style is unmistakable. Look at that. Beautiful. Machine Man has never looked this hot. But like I said, the, the work of this is just breathtaking, really. You know, I think uh, I, I, I can't say enough about uh, the work that he done in this book. And if you have not have a chance to take a look at this book, this mini series, four issues, I highly recommend. It's cheap. It's one of those, you know, books that you can buy on eBay for a few bucks for the whole series. It's well worth it. Look at that detail. Oh. My favorite page of the entire series is right here. I absolutely love 
this page. Amazing, amazing drawing, amazing action. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, the next couple pages is, is, is equally awesome in details and in beauties. Absolutely stunning. You know, I mean, I, I can't say enough about, you know, the transformation that Barry Smith went through as an artist between the mid 70s and the early 80s, but unbelievable. But, you know, as you can see, this is uh, the, as beautiful as his style is and the inking and everything. You can definitely see why it would be impossible for him to churn out 18 to 20 page on a monthly basis. This just cannot be done. And, you know, uh, I don't blame him for, you know, wanting to do his inking himself. There's nobody else that can ink his work and do justice and so after that okay he went on and did of course the famous weapon x series and the work on this book is simply beautiful okay it it, it it's very similar to what he did with um the machine man my biggest gripe of this series and barry windsor smith is I wish they, by they I mean Marvel and the big man, would have put this into like a four issue mini series and wait until he can do it instead of basically uh, milking the readers by giving us eight page every month and stretch out the story because I think what's the problem when, you know, no doubt, Barry Smith would have a very hard time putting out this kind of high quality work on a monthly basis. So, you know, they settle for a format that fit this book, but I didn't like it. I did not like the eight page format. Also, because of the eight page format, what was Rob? from us, the reader is, you know, a, a, an amazing splash page. And that's what this series lacked, is it, it, it didn't have, for every issue, there was just not an amazing splash page to show off Barry Smith's amazing skills. So what you have is a short, Eight page, which is beautifully drawn. The story is okay, okay. Um, but look at that. Just look at the amount of details that he put on that one panel. Beautiful. I mean, it is a better drawn book than the story. The story certainly is not bad, but. I don't need to go into uh, the, uh, the origin of Weapon X, but it is beautifully drawn. Like I said, you know, there is very little to complain about the artwork or the story, you know, but for sure the artwork is what stood out, and as you can see, it was very short. You got eight page, and that's it, and you have to wait another month. So this is the second um, part. As you can see, you know, I I bought these off the rack long ago and kept them in good shape. The the covers are okay. They nice. Sure, I I would wish there was more, but as I was complaining before, what you get with this format is just eight page snippets of the story, and like I said, it robbed us of. A beautiful splash page that's my biggest complaint has been from the first day I bought this series until the end 
this is too bad but as you can see amazing amazing details I would love to see this series reproduced in a big black and white format treasury size and to me I don't need to see the colors okay I want to see the super size black and white rendition of this book you know, so I hope the people that put out you know those IDW series of black and white books I hope someday they will put out a Weapon X book because it is simply it would be simply awesome to be able to enjoy this in pure black and white just look at this okay look at that okay beautiful like I said I can go through this uh, all day but as you can see beautiful I mean you know no doubt the, 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 the drawing on the covers are beautiful but they are simple you know I mean it's you know I would rather have like I said twice or three times now give me a mini series of four issue give me four amazing covers with some amazing splash page and I would be much happier than having to endure over a year worth of this uh, format it's a great series and I think uh, you know if you're a Wolverine fan it's a it's a must-have uh, and if you're a Barry Winston Smith fan it's definitely a must-have also this is one of my favorite covers simply amazing simply amazing there are like I said uh, let's see another one yeah some of the cover is fairly boring nothing special this one certainly not one of my favorite what do you guys think huh do you agree with me that you know it would have been better off if Marvel waited for him to be able to do you know a four issue mini series instead of stretching this out to over a year worth of uh, eight page format sure in the end it's more money okay because they're able to sell you know a lot more books over a longer time frame but that's way out of our control now it's done for over with look at that that is a beautiful drawing anyhow uh, I hope you enjoyed this series on Barry Windsor Smith um, certainly you know one of those talented guys that don't do a lot of work because you know their style are so time-consuming that uh, you know I rather see them produce less work high quality than trying to you know sh push them to do a monthly book where they just can't do it it's just not worth uh, it's worth the wait basically that's what I'm saying is you know for Barry I hope he will come back and do more comic books because uh, I love his style simply simply amazing okay thanks for watching bye